Hey guys, this is Piglin Master, and I do for Tops episode uh, 27. I don't remember. Oh, oh, wait, oh, I don't. I don't care what number this is right now. When, wait, what? What is for right now is uh, yeah, I think it's 27. Um, the Tops episode is gonna be top. Uh, yeah, top fit my favorite Pokemon by type part two: Electric, Flying, Ice, and Poison. Okay, so. I wonder why I put these four now. I uh, just um because because I'm gonna do the other types in a specific order and stuff like that. Whatever. Well, anyway, so I'm gonna start with um yeah top five electric Pokemon number five Mining for well I'll pick minus but I like my I like Mining more than Plusle and there aren't that much electric types I like. Trust me, uh, um I probably would show you like on my you know um manuscript or like a draft for what Pokemon I like. I don't have much electric types, so I decided to put mine in. I could put a main net trick or something in it, but I said mine in because I really like mine in. Number four is Shinx because you know back when um my, my brother and I first got James uh four which is Diamond and Pearl. Um we both of us like wanted to get Shinx because you know 'cause it's so adorable, it's blue and electric type and etc etc. Cause um Shinx is cute and stuff. Okay, um yeah, Shinx. Uh, number three, Chinchow, because, seriously, Water Electric, back then in Generation 2, I think Water Electric is kind of awesome. And it still is. I mean, look at Lantern. I mean, I I kind of sometimes see Lantern, but not anymore right now, because, yeah, but in Generation 4, yeah, I do see a lot of Lantern, because Lantern's kind of a good special wall, but Chinchow more because of the design force, because I like Chinchow's design. Number two is Raichu. Yeah, I, I don't like Pikachu that much. Sue go sue me, but I like Raichu more than Pikachu. And I don't like Pikachu that much, it's just kinda of mid, but I do like Raichu, okay. I, I yes yeah. So so I have like um I used to have um a plush of Raichu. So yeah. And number one, Electros. But, cause um like I said, I don't have that many, that much favorite electric type, so I might as well pick the one to actually use out of the five, which is Electros. I do actually use Electros for Pick Dream. I actually use one for my um, main Pokemon White uh, run uh, for Catching the World. So yeah, Electro Electros is my favorite Electric type because well, most of the for for most of by default. Flying types. Here we go. Number five, Star Raptor because of well, Star Raptor is awesome. Cause um, I mean you got sure you got Pidgeot. Pidgeot's meh. Spearow's meh. Swallow, Swallow's good, but um, I still like Star Raptor more because of its raw stats and power. Cause, yeah, and because it gets reckless and it has a bunch of moves that it's pretty good with. Like its main move, Brave Bird, and since Star Raptor is known for pretty much Brave Bird anyway, might as well put Reckless on it and do more damage. Double Edge, same thing, when it's normal type. I mean, I, I have my Star Raptor in a big misfit that has both Brave Bird and Double Edge. Um, the double edge is there, like it's like you know, Pokemon that resists flying and like ele like electric types. So yeah, but then I do have close combat, but still. And yeah, also for normal like general damage with stab. Anyway, um, number four, not two, because of cuteness and it's round and little small guy, cute, not two. Okay, now uh, I will tell you this right away. Um. When I do when I end up doing the psychic types, I'm usually only gonna do um pure psychic types because I have a huge list of favorite psychic type Pokemon, but I'm gonna get to that later. Um number three, the original flying type, Pidgey. Yeah, Pidgey's for the longest time my favorite flying type because of its again, cuteness. I mean cuteness actually does get me in get, get into the top ops. I mean in the, in the last of the um, favorite po Pokemon I type episodes, you would see that I do have a lot of cute Pokemon among among the among some of the ranks here. Okay, um, now I just lost my thing here. Okay, anyway, number two, number two is a tie. Okay, here we go. Number two, a tie between Sulbat and Sigilith. Again, psychic types. So yeah, Sulbat is me because actually like simple Sulbat, you know, with calm mind and lots of you know stab moves and stuff. I actually like Swoobat, however, since it's unreleased removal ability, I had to go switch into another psychic flying and I ended up finding Sigilith. And Sigilith ends up, ends up learning lots of good moves. I mean, it can be a dual screener like Ninetales Commander once used. I has Mile, which is like pure special attacker. 
that sort of thing. I have like two Sigilyph, one on, that I pick hack so I don't use anymore, and um, the Misfits. Yeah. And number one is Togekiss, because I have a mono Togekiss team. That kind of says a lot. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. And now, for my favorite, oh, my second favorite type, Ice Types. Number five, Frost Tom, or, but by the official name, Frost Rotom. I call it Frost Tom. Um, the reason why Frost Tom's number five is I don't use Frost Tom at all. I don't use Rotom at all in any of its forms. Although, uh, Wash Tom is like the is like really popular nowadays because it's only been to grasp. Which is why I think one of the reasons why Lantern's very popular. But yeah, Frost Tom. Also has one of those uh, Pokemon that has one of, one of the few Ice type Pokemon that has more res doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. Still, number four, Bear Tick. Uh, initially, I don't really care about Bear Tick, but um, upon actually using one because I just feel like it, I actually end up liking Bear Tick because he has lots of raw power, has Swift Swim for a Dream World ability, which is kind of pretty useful for Prick Rain too, which is on going on release. But I'm probably gonna go, you know, get get uh, um, whatever. I don't care, but um. Yeah, Bear Tick is actually like, um, it's, it, it's set. Well, although not much of it's set, because this doesn't learn Waterfall. I'm wondering what's so helpful if it learned Waterfall instead of Surf, really. Number three, Glaceon. Because, well, Glaceon, since, um, again, for a long time, a lot of Glaceon. Yeah, looking at my list, I don't, I don't, I don't see any, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Generation 4, Generation 5, Generation 1, Generation 4, Generation 4. Wow. Really? Um, well, anyway, you'll see what I mean when you get to there. Number two, Frostlass, because, again, like Frost Tom, doesn't have that much weaknesses considering it's an ice type. But, uh, it has a, uh, it has a lot of, um, special power. It has a lot of power, and it's like, it has to be bulky if I wanted to. I could. Number one is Articuno, because it's my favorite legendary Pokemon. Yeah, Articuno's favorite legendary Pokemon is the first one there, so Articuno called him first. Just like all those comments in the videos saying first, that's what Articuno does. Just said first, and it's already at the, the, the top of my ice type list. Also, one of my favorite Pokemon. Period. Okay, now look at the again looking at the ice type list. I have, let's see here. I have four, three generation four Pokemon, one generation one Pokemon, and one generation five Pokemon. Yeah, I don't like the ice type one generation two. If there are any, I don't remember if there are any. But yeah, yeah, there are, there are ice types in generation two. What am I saying? But yeah, I don't like that many ice types before generation four. The only good exception is Articuno, but aside from that, I don't even like that many ice types. Um, except maybe Sneasel, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can see the team on my list for ice types. And now, finally, for the poison type. Um, number five is a tie between Oddish and Bellsprout. Now, uh, Oddish and Bellsprout are not in the grass type list, but I would say that both of their designs, I think, are cute designs. And, again, I mentioned cuteness, so yeah. So that's their number five, because they're often, like, opposites of each other, because, you know, Oddish is in one version, Bellsprout's in blue, in, um, another one. I think Oddish was in red, Bellsprout's in blue. And there goes a lot of other stuff. But if I choose one of them, I think it's Oddish, maybe. If I choose one of them. But I, I do like Bellsprout, too, so, yeah. Number four, you gotta be, yeah, I know, you're thinking, what the heck? Weedle! Cause Weedle, cause Weedle is a really cool-looking caterpillar Pokemon. Okay, it's part poison. Yeah, I do like all of its sprites, except maybe for a few, I don't know. But yeah, Weedle, man. I think I've seen a Weedle sweep one time in YouTube. At the, at, you can just find it on YouTube. Number three, Tentacruel. I actually, I like Tentacruel. It's, it's, it's really awesome, because it's, it's a good special bulk, you know, for, for, a, poison, for a poison type. And uh, has, a, has a decent moves, has a chance for five. Yeah, has a decent on a bunch of really great moves. Number two. Another tie between Venonat and Evolution Venomoth. If I thought I choose one of them, I'm not sure. Maybe Venonat because, again, cuteness. Because cuteness wins everything most of the time. I mean, but then again, Sabrina uses Venomoth, so I might choose Venomoth. So you, you know what I'm saying? Because Venonat has a lot of cuteness within it, and Sabrina uses Venomoth, and I do like the design of Venomoth. So yeah, they're both tied. And number one, my favorite poison type is Nidoran Male. Yeah. Nidoran male is my favorite poison type. Yeah, even counting like Needle King stuff, I still like Nidoran male, of course, because again, cute design. Sheesh, look at this. All but Tentacruel in the poison type list are cute to some extent. Yeah, cuteness factor wins. 
Okay, um, I'm at a 10 minute mark, so I'm going to see you guys later on uh, my favorite Pokemon list, because I do have the, um, uh, my list for the other types. So yeah, see you guys later. And by the way, the next tops will be Sonic-themed. Later.